Welcome back to No Man's Sky, everyone. Jason here, and this is the Beyond Update, and in this video, I'm going to show you the, the changes at space stations. Now, I'm going to show you the initial change that I noticed, which is kind of crazy, but I, I didn't stay and look around. I actually wanted to show you guys this particularly. Look at this. Slowly, but this tunnel is different now. They changed the tunnel... Which, okay, you know, I mean, it's a little bit more uh, cleaned up, I guess. The lighting is different a little bit. The platforms look the same, landing's the same, things like that. But I don't know if you saw it or not. Let's go over here. Look at that. Staircase changed. Now you have a staircase over here. And look at that. It's so much different lit. Like, and look at that. Look at I am in a... Oh, get away from there. Oh, it won't even tell me? I didn't even try this before. It doesn't tell you what kind of a, uh, a system you're in. But I have Gek and I have Viking all in here together. So now it doesn't seem like the only race you'll see. I mean, look at it. It's majority of it's Gek. So I'm guessing this is a Gek system. Can I go in here? Oh, look at there's doors and stuff now. Okay, so yeah, they've they've kind of increased the the atmosphere of space stations. So we're going over here. They have doors now instead of it being open, so you can walk through. There's the terminal. Here's the mission giver. Let's see, age mission agent, I should say. Now, see, uh, it's always you know any of the words you know are going to turn out different colored. The Gek is keen to offer me missions and, of course, rewards. Let's see what the missions. And it looks like it's going to be about the same. Yeah, so you have the same setup as before. So that's pretty cool. What about the, uh, the guild over here? Welcome. There we go. Still don't understand any of that. The life form makes a gesture of respect and an acknowledgement from one mercenary guild operative to another. The guild here has matter. Blah, blah, blah. The guild here has matters in hand and has no need of any special operations. However, the envoy does have a gift for me to mark the occasion. Yeah, accept the gift. I take the gift and promise to command the envoy's work to their superiors. All right, cytophosphate. Oh, it gave me a whole bunch of cytophosphate. I like it. And what is this guy? This is a new one right here. So it was just the mission agent and then the guild person. Who is this? Cartographer. The Gek is surrounded by charts, coordinate lists, and hand-drawn sketches. They bubble excitedly, keen to share their data hoard. Hello, friend and maps. Trade, blah, blah, blah. Okay, ask for help. Exchange maps. One navigational data. Let's exchange. Cartographer Bufudu enters my navigational data into their log. They hand me a chart to a new location of interest, ready to be mapped and added to their database. Wow, planetary chart. <clears throat> a planetary chart contains directions to a point of interest. Access the planetary chart in your inventory and plot a route with X. Collect the new charts from the cartographer. All right, so it's in my inventory now. Oh, you can just use it while you're in your inventory. Let's do a plot route. Signal detect. Oh, you can buy directions instead of asking people for directions now. Look at this guy walking around. That's freaking me out. They didn't walk before. Now he's just walking around. Wow. Okay. So now let's go see what the other, the, um, the nanite merchants, the nanite stores over here. Let's see how they're set up. Because now we have a cartographer over there. That's craziness. This looks basically the same. Oh, wait a minute. Always, always, always these cool orange and blue cubes. Always check them. Navigational data? Oh, I got nanites from that. Oh, the nanite symbol's different too. Whoa. It's a different symbol now. Got more nanites. That's okay. So let's check out the merchants. Okay, so. Oh, look at this. Weapons terminal. That looks like a special. That's an experimental? No, it just looks different. Okay. Because it's a B class. Okay. Wait a minute, how many slots did that thing have? It doesn't tell you. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. 
nine or three times one two three four five six seven you guys are gonna see my math is terrible so that's 21 22 23 24 okay so they still it looks like they still max out at 24 maximum for uh multi-tools good lord my math is a little rusty sorry guys i didn't sleep very much last night <laughs> The small alien creature waves me over, sniffing curiously. They gesture eagerly towards their wares. Friend, please! Receive... Okay, I don't know any of that. The life form appears to be selling installable multi-tool upgrades in exchange for nanite clusters. Oh, you can only uh, purchase upgrade modules now. You can't buy blueprints from them. You can only do it from the uh, sp uh, space anomaly. If you want to know about that, link up top and down below in the description. But yeah, you, it looks like you could only buy the blueprints from the anomaly now. Scanner module. I'm not seeing anything different. Like, they still have scatter blaster, mining beam, pole splitter, geology. I, I'm not seeing any new weapons or new upgrades. That I, yeah, I'm not seeing anything new. Uh, that's okay, though. That's pretty awesome. Okay, decline. You don't have any upgrades that I want, and your multi tool's not cool enough for me. Let's go over to the, this is going to be the starship guy. Merchant, I should say. The reptilian life form begins to reach for my suit, invading my personal space before looking me over and reconsidering. They bounce nervously. All right. I, I definitely need to make my translator for that. Purchase upgrades. Let's see if there's any new upgrades for the starship. Hyperdrive? No. They look different. The hyperdrive's different. Starship module, the shield module is different. They, they're the same thing, they just look different now. Instead of being all the same, like Pulse Engine module, that looks like the old school one. That's what all the upgrades used to look like. But now they have different designs. That's pretty awesome. Photon cannon, Pulse Engine, okay. Yeah. Let's do the technology merchant. So this is for the Exo Crafts. Looks like this is a selling installable Exocraft upgrades. Okay, let's see if there's any different upgrades. Cannon module, engine, laser. Nope, they're all the same. Yep. Looks like they're all the same. There's no new upgrades as far as I can tell. Maybe there are, and I just don't see them here. They're all the same upgrade. Whoa. Can I buy a new... Whoa, won't let me buy a new suit slot? Maybe you can't. Maybe it's still maximum. Life form begins to reach for my suit. Okay, blah, 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 blah. Purchase upgrade modules. So you have life support, movement, shield. They look different, but they're the same type of upgrades as before. Underwater protection, radiation, toxic. They're all the same. I like that. Okay. Life support module, S. Shield module, S. Movement module, S. Holy cow, there's a lot of them here. Holy cow. Okay. But okay, so I can't buy any upgrades or suits. So uh, your exosuit is still maxed out at 48 in your general, 14 in your technology, and then 48 in your cargo, it looks like. I mean, unless there's a different one and I don't know about it, it looks like that's your maximum still. Because I can't buy my upgrade here, so I can't buy any more. All right, let's go to the uh, appearance modifier. Let's see if there's anything changed here. So let's change my race. You still only have the five races. So there's no new races technically. No. Body shapes. Okay, so one. Yep, two short fat. Okay, this is like normal. This is where it used to be. Head. Okay, markings. There we go. Now I look like normal again. I don't know why that switched. I don't know why, but okay. Torso. This still looks like it's all the same setup. Like, there's no new armors yet. That's fine. And all these are the same. Yeah, backpack. Banner. Okay, banner. Look at that. Okay, so you can make your own little banner. Oh, and there's the different little symbols here. Okay. Well, I'm going to stay with the money, the units. Yes, change it. Save my changes. Okay. So there's no new uh, technology merchant, but there is a cartographer. That's pretty awesome. Oh, wait a minute before I go. We gotta go back to this little cafe area back here. We gotta check this out. The cool doors that open now. Yep, it's the same setup as before. You have the cafe. Manager, okay, so there are your cool little gecks are around. 
Now, let's see what happens when you open the Atlas uh, number three. Same thing? Yeah, same setup. Okay, so these... Nothing's really changed. Like, there's no extra benefits as far as I know for that Atlas Pass version 3. Still the same setup. I mean, it's still cool to go in there and be able to get new items. But there's nothing really going on there. Okay. That's awesome. The other thing I've noticed is that there's no ships coming in. What's going on with that? Did the ships not land on the space station anymore? I don't know. It's kind of weird, though. I haven't seen any, and I haven't heard any, and I've been here for a while. So, hopefully you guys like the tour of the space station and finding the cartographer. That's pretty awesome. If you did, hit that like button for me, and if you want to see more, subscribe to the channel. I'm uploading a ton of stuff because Beyond just came out, and I'll see you guys next time.